The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered the fourth most distant galaxies ever observed, one of which formed 320 million years after the Big Bang when the universe was still in its infancy. New research said on Tuesday, the Webb telescope has unleashed a torrent of scientific discoveries since becoming operational last year, peering farther than ever before into the universe's distant reaches, which also means it's looking back in time. By the time light from the most distant galaxies reaches Earth, it's been stretched by the expansion of the universe and shifted into the infrared region of the light spectrum. The Webb's telescope near-cam instrument has an unprecedented ability to detect this infrared light, allowing it to quickly spot a change of never-before-seen galaxies, some of which could reshape astronomers' understanding of the early universe. In two studies published in the Nature Astronomy Journal, astronomers revealed that they have unambiguously detected the four most distant galaxies ever observed. The galaxies date from 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang more than 13 billion years ago when the universe was just 2% of its current age. That means the galaxies are from what's called the Epoch of Reionization, a period when the first stars are believed to have emerged. The Epoch came directly after the Cosmic Dark Ages, all brought about by the Big Bang itself. Surprising. Stephanie Charlot, a researcher at the Astrophysics Institute of Paris and co-author of two new studies, told AFP that the farthest galaxy called Jade's GSZ-130 formed 320 million years after the Big Bang. That's the greatest distance ever observed by an astronomer, he said. The Webb telescope also confirmed the existence of Jade's GSZ-10-0, which dates from 450 million years after the Big Bang and had previously been spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope. All four galaxies are, quote, very low in mass, weighing roughly 100 million solar masses, Charlotte said. The Milky Way, in comparison, weighs 1.5 trillion solar masses by some estimations. But the galaxies are very active in star formation in proportion to their mass, Charlotte said. Those stars were forming, quote, at around the same rate as the Milky Way, a speed that was surprising so early in the universe, he added. The galaxies were also very poor in metals, he added. This is consistent with the standard model of cosmology, scientists' best understanding of how the universe works, which is said that the closer to the Big Bang, the less time there is for such metals to form. Technical tour de force. However, in February, the discovery of six massive galleries from 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang led some astronomers to question the standard model. Those galaxies also observed by the Webb telescope were bigger than thought possible so soon after the birth of the universe. If confirmed, the standard model could keep updating. Peter Van Dokum, the astronomer at Yale University not involved in the latest research, hailed the confirmation of the four newly discovered distant galaxies as the technical tour de force. Quote, the frontier is moving almost every month, Van Dokum commented in Nature, adding that there was now only 300 million years of unexplored history of the universe between these galaxies and the Big Bang. The Webb telescope has observed possible galaxies even closer to the Big Bang, but they have yet to be confirmed, he said. Of the four, it's the most distant is the one with the somewhat unwieldy name Jade's GSZ-130. It has a redshift value of 13.2, meaning that we are seeing the galaxy as it appeared just 320 million years after the Big Bang. That high redshift makes JGS-Z-130 the most distant currently known object in the universe, a record that JWST seems set to imminently break again, but one that highlights why astronomers are so thrilled. We now know for certain we're probing an era of the universe no human has ever laid eyes on before. It's astonishing, said Peter Van Dockum of Yale University. This galaxy, he equivalently notes, is only slightly older from our perspective than the total time sharks have existed on Earth some 300 million years. You go from nothing to these fully formed galaxies in the blink of an eye, Van Dockum says. Not all redshift candidate galaxies have been so lucky, however, which highlights astronomers' early caution. In July, another survey called the Cosmic Evolution Early Renaissance Science Survey, SEERS, led by Finkelstein, spied a possible galaxy at a redshift of 16.4, just 240 million years after the Big Bang. Subsequently, spectroscopy has shown that deduction was wrong, as revealed in late March in research led by Pablo Arabal Haro, an astronomer at the National Science Foundation's NOR lab. The galaxy is actually a dusty imposter located at a redshift of 4.9, a still impressive but not at all record-breaking 1.2 billion years after the Big Bang. High levels of star formations are thought to have muddled early photometric analysis. 
Now that such galaxies are being confirmed, their scientific implications can be more fully explored. These galaxies are small, many times tinier than the Milky Way, but some appear extremely bright and massive and have high star formation rates similar to that of our galaxy, which forms roughly one new star every year. While the galaxies don't yet pose problems for leading models of cosmology, they suggest galactic formation began earlier and proceeded faster than expected in the universe, which theorists had previously predicted began churning out galaxies at a ripe age of 1 billion years after the Big Bang. Some problematic and potentially model-busting early universe candidate galaxies still remain. First among them may be a class of galaxies identified by Ivo Lavi of the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia and his colleagues. The team found galaxies with billions of solar masses, comparable in weight to the Milky Way, from just an estimated 750 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are 10 to 100 times bigger than the galaxies previously seen in this area and are packed into structures 30 times smaller than the Milky Way. Quote, they're small, but they're massive, says Lavi who says JWST is continuing to find similar galaxies essentially anywhere it looks deeply in the sky. For now, the galaxies have only been studied by photometry, with spectroscopic analysis planned for July. Not everyone is happy with such early access. Quote, you have postdocs who have spent years of their lives working on this and making these observations possible, says Rebecca Larson of UT Austin, a co-author of Arabel Perro's paper and part of CERN's team. Quote, then our data comes out and it's public and people are racing us to the results. We're working on it and also being asked to provide other input for the community. Then other people will come in and put up papers. It's really frustrating to watch happen. It's unclear how to resolve the tension at the moment. It'd be better if there were some more concrete rules, says Tom Bax of Nagoya University in Japan, who is not involved in the research. Quote, imagine if you have small kids then it's simply not possible to spend the entire night calibrating the data. There's a little bit of power imbalance. It's very open competition. More positively, the situation appears to have cooled somewhat since the frantic early weeks of JWST's operation. Now astronomers are doing what they long dreamed of, gaining their first certain glimpses into an epoch of the universe never studied before. Who knows how much further we'll see? Maybe galaxy formation started already at a redshift of 20, Van Dokum says referring to a time a mere 180 million years after the Big Bang, an epic scarcely fathomable prior to JWST. If the telescope is showing us anything, however, it's to expect the unexpected. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.